This is a tutorial about how to use Microsoft Excel 2003 version. What I want to do is create a mini budget. My thoughts are that this would be used in a business math class for high school students. So first what I want to do is go into Microsoft Excel and open up a blank database. Next I'm going to type in what I want to call this, and this is going to be Excel Tutorial. And I just enter down, brings me down to the next cell. This is going to be my title of my uh, spreadsheet here, Mini Budget. Since it's a mini budget, I'm only going to do four months. I'm going to start with September. And the way I got over to the next cell is I press tab, and that brings me right over to the, to the cell to the right. And December. Alright. So, I thought of a list of uh, a few things that someone might spend their money on. I put it in a separate sheet to save time so I wouldn't have to type it in. So I'm just going to press, I'm going to highlight what I did there, and I'm going to press Control C, which is a shortcut for copying, and I'm going to go back to my sheet one, and then press Control V, which paste it into where I want. So I thought of groceries, car payment, gas and electric bills, uh, rent or a mortgage, uh, cable and internet, and, and loans. Those are some basic things that pretty much everybody has to pay for. And we're also going to make sure that there's a total on that. And I also want a total over here. And I'll show you why. Also, for sake of time, I picked, you know, random, arbitrary amounts that one would spend on all those different expenditures. Once again, I just highlight the cells that I want to copy. I'm going to use, uh, this time I'm going to hit File, and I'm going to go over to Edit. And this is another way, instead of using the shorthand, to copy it. Now I'm going to go back to my sheet one, click on the cell where I want it to first appear, and then I'm going to go up and do edit again, and this time I'm going to do paste. So that puts in the arbitrary amounts that I wanted. So I'm thinking of a person on their own, a single person, um, each month spending roughly between 120 to or 15 and $120. I'm thinking December, you know, you're having family, friends over, so you're going to spend a little bit more. A car payment is usually the same. Gas and electric is usually pretty close. Colder months may be a little more expensive because your heat's on. Rent, mortgage payment, usually pretty much the same. I was thinking rent for about $500. Cable, internet, uh, standard about forty dollars I would think and maybe loans of whatever it be three hundred and twenty five dollars now what I want to use is I want to highlight these cells underneath September to know how much money I spent in September so I highlight those cells and then I'm going to go up to this summation sign and it says auto sum so I'm just going to click that and it brings up my total expenditures for September. Now I'm going to do that for October, November, and December. I'm going to highlight all three of them and I'll total them up for each individual month and put them in. Alright, so I know what I spent each month, but say I want to know how much money I spent on just groceries for those four months. So I'm just going to highlight those and then I'm going to do the auto sum again and it tells me how much money I spent on groceries for those four months. And then I want to know how much money I spent on the rest of those things. 
can do the auto sum. Alright, so my total for each thing is right here. Now I should add those up, which is using auto sum again, and I can find out my total expenditure. This is my total expenditure for all four months for all those expenditures. So I spent $4,900.50. Now one other thing I want to do is I want to highlight all these uh, numbers. And we're talking about money. So I want to change this to dollar amounts. So I highlight them. And I'm going to go up to uh, Format. And I want to format my cells. And it comes up here. You have tabs. You have number, alignment, font, border, patterns, protection. And I'll show you what some of those other things are. Now, under number, we have general, number, and currency. I want currency because we're talking about money. So I click on that, and then I OK it. As you can see, it changed all my values to monetary values. Now, another thing I want to do is I, I want it to look pretty good. I want it to look similar to this. So how do I do the the enlarging of Excel tutorial? Well, I'm going to highlight these four cells, and I'm going to right-click my mouse, this is a shortcut, and go into Format Cells. Now, I want to change my font. 